Hey guys, it's me again and just call me Boss Jason and welcome back to your channel, The Planchuk Channel. strain of beta or Siamese fighting fish is it easy or not of course it is not easy because uh, breeding your own strain of beta needs a as a time you need an effort and you need to study on how to make your own strain of beta. So, this is how you do it. We are using the Punet Square method. So, I will read you the definition of the Punet Square. A punit square is a graphical representation of the possible genotypes of an offspring arising from a particular cross or breeding event. Creating a punit square requires knowledge of the genetic composition of the parents. The various possible combinations of their genetics are en encapsulated in a tabular format. Therefore, each box in the table represents one fertilization event. So, it says here that you need to know the composition, genetic composition of the parents. We are going on the terms that the punit square use. So it is like this. So what is alleles? The alleles are it is the uh, genetic composition of the genes of the parents so it, it is the called uh, the flavors of the genetic composition of the parents so it can be the dominant allele so the dominant allele is the letter capital letter B so you can use any letter but we will gonna use uh, the letter B. So the dominant allele is the capital letter B. And the recip recessive allele is uh, the small letter B. And the homozygous dominant represents the double capital letter B. And the heterozygous uh, compose represent the capital B and the small b and the homozygous recessive compose the small b and a small b so we are going to make a punet square example so for example if the male breeder beta is a, a homozygous dominant and here and the female beta is the is a homozygous recessive is genetic code will put in here so as you can see the gene genetic code of the male beta is big b and the genetic code of the female beta is small b so the big b and then small b in here big b 
and then small b in here big b and then small b so this will this each box composed of 25 percent so 25 25 25 is 100 percent in your breeding so this is an example on how a unit square looks like if your male beta is a homogeneous uh, dominant and your female is a homogeneous recessive so this is the example of the genetic code of our fries if we will breed them in the future so as you can see there is a 25 percent homozygous dominant and 25 percent homozygous recessive but we have a 50 percent heterozygous so this is not a pure breed or a new breed so the most likely the colors of the fries in the future will be look uh, like uh, different kinds or maybe it will be look like an AOC or an uh, what they call any other color so it will be a random color or a random uh, a traits of the baby fries in the future so we are going on our topic now on how to make your own a strain of betas or what they call the beta uh, Siamese fighting fish so example earlier we have this uh, homozygous dominant and this homozygous recessive so in your breeding we need to record almost everything so we will gonna look for this and this in order to make your own a strain of beta so if you want to make your own strain or new strain of betas you need to find the a recessive trait of both parents are they are both a uh, homogeneous uh, dominant or both homogeneous recessive so this is the example of the homogeneous dominant so as you can see this is the the male and this is the female if we both breed and both of their parent uh, both of their uh, i mean all of their their fries will bring the recessive trait look like this so it will look like all capital letter v and all of the recessive traits of the beta price is a homogeneous homogeneous uh, dominant so most likely uh, they this will be a pure breed or a new new strain of beta so so how or why because if your fries will grow older if you want to breed so it will look like this so it will be a similar scenario so if you will you will gonna put you will gonna breed it will be all like 
a homozygous uh, dominant. So, most likely, this will be a new a new strain of beta. So, better uh, keep records on your breeding. Another example is this. If you have both parents, they are a uh, homozygous and uh, recessive, so it will look like this. So, small d, small d, small d, small d. So, these are the future uh, recessive traits of the, the price of the if your both parents are homozygous uh, recessive so this is how to make uh, uh, your own strain of beta so there you have uh, it has been a very interesting topic about uh, how to make your own strain or new strain of beta fighting fish. So please like and share uh, this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or clarifications, so please comment down below. And that's it. And please always remember this. This is your channel, the Plantube Channel.